There's certainly a lot happening on our renovation all at once. Whilst I'm doing lots of kilometres driving between Yumina and Sydney, I've got a design practice in Sydney that I have to keep going. I've got clients to see. I have to deal with work and keep the money coming in so that the project can continue. Between client appointments, I managed to visit the Caesarstone showroom. Now, it's easy for me as an interior designer to select my finishes from small samples that I have in my studio. I'm used to dealing with it that way because I'm familiar with the product. But I always recommend for my clients to go to the showroom to see the item that they've selected in a larger format. And that's exactly what I did by visiting the Caesarstone showroom myself. So essentially, it's that mid-century modern look that I'm going for, like I'm a big fan of Palm Springs. I've got an idea, I just love your opinion because you're dealing with this every day as well. So if you want something with a vein, um, this one here has a really lovely warm base. Um, the one next to it, um, this is probably one of the most popular vein stones because it's not too strong. I'm not afraid to go loud. <laughs> I think I'd like to go a little bit bolder. So mm. I actually, I mean, if you're happy for a, um, a lot of personality, this one will be awesome with greens. Every Every green is kind of represented in here. There's some absolutely beautiful greens, some forest greens in mm. here. It's just so nice to see them in the big slab and such an important reason why yeah. people should come to a showroom. They're all um, born from the same seed, but they're all slightly unique, which is awesome. The other space that I need stone in is the alfresco. This has a UV inhibitor built into it, so it's not going to fade. Um, you can get direct sun, it's absolutely fine. Okay. awesome. It's perfectly what I'm after. Yep. I've also got, you've also got another of these finishes, so what are these ones That's here? That's porcelain. So these are porcelain. Yep, the yeah. difference between porcelain and uh, quartz is that you can put a hot pot directly on that, you can cut directly on that. Sure, I just keep getting drawn towards this. Why do you, why do you think that might be? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, Palm Springs, mid-century, It's. I think this is gonna be the one for you. It's day three. The rain and wind has returned overnight. Julian is up on top of the roof first thing this morning. He's surveying the job so far. He has to now deal with the decision of whether they can crack on or not. Of course, being roof installers, they're used to being outside and dealing with all types of weather, but this rain and wind is pretty strong. So it's up to Julian to make the call whether they're gonna to proceed today or not. I'm exhausted. Well, having, having slept, you know, every, every time the wind blew, it felt like the roof was coming off. I know, it's a pretty traumatic night. So even now you <laughs> Yeah, look, you can see injury. everything's still blowing. It's chaos. It was pretty lucky how much had to be actually tarped yeah. last night and the I'm guys sure, did a great job. I'm sure some rain has gone in. I went actually up on the roof to, to, to have a look mm. and half of the tarpaulin is actually blowing away and underneath it's all wet. This is due to stop now. I've checked on the phone. It's due to stop about mm. 11 o'clock at the moment. There's a lot to love about you, Minor. I've actually been coming here most of my life as a child fishing with our dad. It's a beautiful coastal location and I've enjoyed oh. many holidays here. Another draw card is that I have a twin brother who lives up here as well and he owns a cafe right on the beach. Not only does he make a great coffee, but I reckon he makes Australia's best bacon and egg wrap. Yeah, so I've been up here for just over eight years now. We've had the cafe, Yamina Beach Cafe. Um, we've located here under the surf club at Yamina. Um, since that time, we've just entrenched ourselves in this community the contact that you have with the local community and everything, it's just second to none. Even with the weather like we're having today, we still get our regulars coming in, getting their bacon, egg rolls, coffee, whatever. This place is normally packed, full outdoor seating out here, um, with very few tables spare. Days like today, the weather's up, the surf's up and everything, it's, it's not probably a, a true example of what we're about. James is getting his roof on today. Um, what a woeful day to have it, woeful day for business, but we're still here on the central coast, here in your minor, and loving it. It's a great place to be. Who said Queensland's beautiful oh my one day, perfect the next? Like, uh, tables? Tables. They were there, but they've blown away. They've blown away. They've already got, so the seating's now on the other side of the circle. A little bit of tomato sauce. So, oh, same. Two? Same. Same. 
He's freezing. He's you might have to grab one of your jackets. Done. Yeah, I just came out like that thinking it used to be summer until yesterday. Lucky your family out there. <laughs> Is that a logo? That's a logo. <laughs> It's going to stop at about in about two hours, maybe. You guys know what they're doing. They've already started working inside. They're yeah. in the garage. Snip, 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 snip. They're working. Hopefully, it lightens up enough to keep more of the roof going. Delivery of the final pieces from Parisi bathrooms. Yep. And um, the measuring of the wardrobes. It's happening today as well. Is it? Yeah. He's coming much time. Okay. Yeah. Busy, busy times, mate. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, boys. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. After about an hour of waiting around, the rain decided to finally ease and Julian's made the call to crack on with the job. We're certainly happy that these guys are used to working in the elements and that they can get going with our brand new roof. Fingers crossed, they're gonna be able to get it finished today. How are you, buddy? How you going? A major part of our brand new roof installation includes our three new skylights. Fortunately, our delivery from VLUX arrives perfectly on time. The Snedden brothers are a cracker team of painters. They're now working on the inside of the house, repeating that clean white look, this time in Torbman's crisp white. As all the pieces of our renovation project start to come to life, it's time to select our window coverings to complement our new windows and doors. I've worked with Kim from Abbey Shutters and Blinds on many projects. She always offers great advice, excellent service, and she laughs at all my jokes, even the ones she's heard before. <laughs> Blinds and curtains provide thermal benefits by controlling the amount of natural light and heat loss or gain. And finally, they'll provide an aesthetic quality, either highlighting or softening the look of our new windows and doors. Once again, I brought along samples of our flooring, window colours and window finishes, as this will influence the fabrics and products that I select. Mm, that's too brown. That's too blue. This is too grey. What have I got? It's always important to select your window coverings as early as you can, as they need to be manufactured and require lead times. This way, we'll ensure that our new curtains and blinds will be ready to install when the renovation's complete. A feature of many Palm Springs homes is actually wallpaper in strong, bold geometric prints and colors. I've decided not to install wallpaper on our project, but I still want to have color, pattern, perhaps texture. To achieve this, I've decided to go with easy craft paneling. Now, we've repeated that V-groove look on the main wall in the lounge and hallway and repeated that also into the bunk room. In the master bedroom and the guest suite, I've decided to go for a closer, tighter, linear look, which is a channel profile. The vertical line is repeating that texture from outside, so I've got continuity. And it's on these cladded walls that I'm going to add a punch of colour. But which colour? We created a range of colours using the Colorsmith tool. I ordered sample pots. This will allow Sandra and I to paint the samples and take them around the house to make sure that we pick the perfect colour for each of these featured locations. Our floor installers from Flooring Extra are true craftsmen. They measure and cut each length of our new engineered timber flooring and then glue and click them into place. Being installed over the top of our existing floors is providing that unified look I'm after. As they begin installing down our new hallway, you'd never know that this was once a bathroom. As part of the new roof installation, it's also time to install our brand new VLUX skylights, and this is super exciting. Paul and Mark have already been hard at work. They've actually installed the internal frames. These are based on the positions of the ceiling and roof rafters. They've been lined up, ready for the new installation of the skylights above. Once again, we get to see the quality of our roof installers as they create that watertight fitting around the skylights. 
This is a really exciting time because it's the first time that the roofing and tarps have been removed. Now that natural light is flooding on through and we're starting to get an idea of just how effective they're going to be. Whilst the wind remains, the heavy rain becomes a light sprinkle, allowing our roofing install team to continue working like a well-oiled machine. As they lift, position and click each of those roofing panels into place, I'm reminded of what a great choice this roof profile was. It's relatively quick to install as the prep work has all been done and it's excellent to see the final pieces click into place. I've got to say I'm proud to be one of the first people in the country to be using Blue Gum Colour Bond on our project. The colour is perfect. It's great to see this roof come to life. The combination of that textural Snapline 45 profile, the matte Blue Gum finish and the excellent craftsmanship, I've got to say this roof looks better than even I could have imagined. As day three comes to an end, so too does the workmanship of our brand new roof. But the roofing chapter on this renovation hasn't finished quite yet. The roofing team will have to return when we finally get the go ahead for that brand new foyer. Whilst not everything has gone exactly as planned on site, the excitement is certainly ramping up. And I can start to see that beautiful Palm Springs inspired masterpiece that I've had in my head for so long. To get a list of all of the finishes and fittings that I've used in this episode, as well as seeing some bonus videos, it's easy. Just go to jamesborderhouse.com. In the next episode of James Border House, the installation of our brand new masonry and breeze block walls begins. The PC items and tapware are finally in, and our epic feature stone wall is finally complete. <laughs>